You welcome to today's news on the Kente Business Journal. My name is Rahel Uredo Upuku. Please stay tuned. In our first story, South Africa is preparing to launch its inaugural virtual renewable electricity system next year. This development holds the potential to greatly boost the utilization of renewable energy and alleviate the strain on ESCOM, that's a state-owned utility company which has been struggling with challenges due to the aging of its power plant and an overburdened transmission grid. These challenges have resulted in frequent and extended power cuts lasting up to 10 hours daily. As commented into an argument in August with Vodacom, that's the African subsidiary of Vodafone, to introduce a system referred to as virtual wheeling. Now, this innovative system will empower consumers to purchase renewable energy from various producers throughout the country. This will make renewable power for major producers accessible to smaller users, such as individual buildings, housing communities, and factories. Now, on Saturday, a Palestinian militant group called Hamas launched an attack against Israel with many killed, wounded and others taken hostage. This attack, the Hamas called Operation Al-Aqsa fled. Hamas, which runs Gaza, said its attack on Israel is a response to attacks Palestinians have faced for years and the desecration of the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The Hamas fighters shot over 3,000 missiles to Israel while infiltrating Israeli territory from Gaza, where they reported to have captured Israeli soldiers. In retaliation, Israeli army has launched Operation Iron Sword against the Hamas group in Gaza, which has led to the death of more than 3,000 in Gaza. The death toll in Israel is over 650, with 2,000 injured and many more taken hostage. In our last story, thousands of people appear dead after a powerful earthquake hit western Afghanistan near the Iranian border on Saturday. The Taliban government said the earthquake is the deadliest to hit the country in two decades. About 2,000 plants are reported dead, thousands injured, and 1,320 houses completely destroyed. The 6.3 magnitude quake devastated at least 12 villages near the city of Herat on Saturday. It is believed lots more people are still trapped in the debris. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel Kente Business Journal TV and press the notification bell to stay updated always.